Hello, today we're going to be working on horizontal and vertical graphs. As you see here, I have the equation y equals 5. So what we need to do first is an xy table. So we have our xy table here. Now, if we choose values for x, um, some negative, some positive, a 0, so that we get a good mix. Now if x is negative 1, it does not affect the equation y equals 5, because y will be 5. If x is 0, again, it does not affect y, so y is still 5. This pattern continues, so we know that y will always be 5. Then we can plot our points on the graph. So we have the point negative 1, 5. We have the point 0, 5. We have the point negative 2, 5. And the point 1, 5. As you can see, there is a line being created, and it is where y equals 5 hence the horizontal graph. So we're going to try another example. Here we have y equals negative 3. We're going to make our xy table. So we have x, y. We choose x values, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Our y value, when x is negative 1, it does not affect the equation. y equals negative 3, so y will be negative 3. When x is 0, again, x does not affect that equation, so y will be negative 3. We can see that this pattern continues for all of them. Now we're going to graph our points. So we have negative 1, negative 3. We have 0, negative 3, 1, negative 3, and 2, negative 3. We can see the line that it forms, so we draw it in. And again, we have a horizontal line where y equals negative 3. If we continue on, we have a different equation. This is different because now it's x equals negative 1. So again, we're going to do our xy table to see what happens. So I can't choose my values for x. My x is already given to me. x will be negative 1. 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 I can choose my y values, though. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So then I can graph those points. Again, the equation x equals negative 1 is unaffected by what y will be. So it's always going to be negative 1. So I go to the point negative 1, negative 1. Then I go to the point negative 1, 0, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 2. So I have this vertical line where x is negative 1. Continuing on to another one x equals 5, so I do my xy table, x will be 5 for all the values, and my y can be whatever I want it to be, negative 2, negative 4, 3, 0. So I can choose any value that I want for that. So if x is 5, y is negative 2, x is 5, y is negative 4, x is 5, y is 3, x is 5, y is 0. So again, we have this vertical line that is being formed. And that is why we have horizontal and vertical graphs, when it's y equals or x equals. Now I'd like you to try these on your own. Draw a graph of y equals 4 and x equals 7. Good luck and thank you for listening.